Namaste children. Welcome back to another session of our block 6. In that, in our LP1, we completed different habitats of animals and based on that we classified animals into terrestrial animals, aerial animals and arboreal animals. In our second LP2, we came to know about the adaptations in animals which are in an extreme habitats like a desert habitat and a mountain regions or a polar regions. And now in our today's class, we are going to learn about animals that are living in water. So in your earlier classes, you came to know that a plants like lotus, hydrilla, these are some of the plants which are living in water. So, we set them as an aquatic plants. In the same manner, the animals that are living in the water, that are also called aquatic animals. The animals that are living in water, we are calling them as a aquatic animals. So, to continue our lesson in our today's class, we are going to learn about the special features of the aquatic animals that are helping them to survive in the water. So in our today's class, we mainly focus on the aquatic animals and the adaptations of aquatic animals which are helping them to survive in the water. Yes, so let us check the keywords children in our today's LP3 module. The first keyword that is gills. Gills means a specialized organs used for breathing purpose in fishes. Gills are the breathing organs or the respiratory organs seen in fishes. Gills, organ used by fish for breathing. So the second keyword today we are going to learn that is streamline. Streamline means a narrow ends like if you will see a fish. Yes, if you will see a fish, you can see that the fish, it is having the narrow ends at the tip region, a broad end at the middle region. Such a structured body, it is called your streamlined body. Streamline. Narrow at the ends and wider in the middle. Okay. The third keyword we are going to learn in our today's class, that is flipper. Flipper means it is a broad limb that is helping in the animal to move freely in a water. Flipper. Flat. Broad limb that helps to move in water. So, to continue today's class, let's have a small activity, children. So, to do that activity, yes, so paste some pictures like fish, yes, and pictures like a dolphin, duck in your classwork or else if you can draw, draw these pictures. One is your fish. Second one is your dolphin and the third one is duck. So if you can draw these pictures, well and good. You draw the pictures on the white paper side of classwork. And then we will go with our activity. Or else you paste these pictures. Then let's copy the tabular column of our today's activity. So in the tabular column, you can see that the two table is divided into two columns. One is for name of the animal and the second one is the body parts that are helping in movement purpose. So copy down this tabular column children. Once we will see a small video. After completing the video, we will discuss about the activity. Okay children, let's check this small video. Aquatic animals have special features that help them survive in water. Fins and tail help them to swim. Gills help them breathe. Scales protect the fish from injuries. Webbed feet help animals like ducks and penguins to swim when they search for food in water. Flippers and tail help the dolphin to swim. A streamlined body helps in easy movement. Okay children, so as we completed this particular video, we came to know that fishes are one of the aquatic animals where in fish 
द फिंग्स एंड द टेल ऑफ द फिश दैट आर यूज फॉर मूवमेंट पर्पज वेन इट कम्स टू योर डॉल फिंग्स फ्लिपर्स आर यूज फॉर मूवमेंट पर्पज वेर एज इन कम्स टू डक्स द वेब्ड फीट इट इज यूज फॉर मूवमेंट पर्पज सो कॉपीड ऑन दिस इन योर क्लास फॉर चिल्ड्रन वेन इट कम्स टू योर फिशेस फिंस एंड टाइल्स आर यूज फॉर मूवमेंट दैट इज स्विमिंग पर्पज डॉल्फिन्स केस फ्लिपर्स आर यूज फॉर स्विमिंग पर्पज एंड इन केस ऑफ योर डक्स वेब्ड फीट इज यूज फॉर स्विमिंग पर्पज सो लेट्स डिस्कस आर एक्टिविटी चिल्ड्रन नाउ सो टू डिस्कस द एक्टिविटी सी हियर दे आर आस्किंग दैट विच बॉडी पार्ट्स ऑफ द फिश एंड डॉल्फिन हेल्प देम टू मूव इन वाटर जस्ट नाउ वी केम टू नो इन केस ऑफ ए फिश द फिंस एंड टेल Yes, so the fins and tail, that is these body parts, you can see here clearly. Yes, see here the fins, these and these together, these are your fins and the tail. These are the two body parts that are helpful for swimming purpose. That is movement. So the second one, if you will see on the fish body, you are having so many scales that are protecting the fish from injuries. along with that we even learned one more special character as fishes are living in water so in our case humans case if you will see we breathe through the lungs our respiratory organs that are the lungs but the fish which is living in the water it is having a specialized respiratory organs that are called gills so these are some of the adaptations are the special features that are present in the aquatic animal fish so the tail and fins that are helpful for movement purpose scales are helpful for protecting the fish from injuries and the important thing that is gills that are the respiratory organs in your fish so now the same one if you will see in case of a dolphin so in this dolphin if you will see here you are able to find the flippers so the flippers of the dolphin that are helpful for movement purpose yes and one more thing you might have noticed dolphins and whales these are the aquatic mammals that are present inside the water so for breathing purpose always these dolphins and mammals they will come out of the water so these dolphins and mammals the whales the special feature here is they are not like fish they are not having any gills they are having lungs as the respiratory organs and to respire always and always they are coming out of the water okay remember here fins flippers are the uh, organs that are used for movement purpose in your dolphins and whales whereas even in water you will see some other animals like your ducks so this ducks if you will find here a webbed feet you can see here okay children so uh, some birds like dolphins penguins these are some other birds that are uh, swimming in the water to catch the food so when they are swimming in the water in these ducks you will find a webbed feet like this that is the fingers are the claws are connected with each other with the help of a skin this type of feet we are calling as a webbed feet so this webbed feet it is helping for swimming purpose in case of your birds like ducks and penguins okay children see here we are here the question is asking that which body parts that are helpful for dolphins and fishes to move in water so to get that answer what we learnt in our class fins and tails in case of a fish that are helpful for movement purpose whereas the flippers that are helpful in dolphins for swimming purpose but when it comes to your duck a webbed feet it is helpful for movement purpose so now we will get one more question in our body so what are the common features because your dolphin fish and uh, uh, some what duck these are the animals that are present in water so what are the common features of these aquatic animals that is helping them to live in the water so the main common feature in these aquatic animals the first and foremost one is streamlined body already so many times i said streamlined body means it is having narrow ends at the 
steep regions and a broad end at the middle part this type of structure we are saying as a streamlined body so such a streamlined body helps the aquatic animals to swim very easily in the water okay along with that they are having some specialized structures like in case of a fish gills are present that is helping to breathe in the water yes and even another specialized structure just now we have discussed that is scales that is protecting the fish from injuries but when you are comparing a dolphin with a fish so now dolphin it is having even though a streamlined body it is having lungs as the respiratory organs so for birds they are having a webbed feet to swim easily in the water so now so how these special features like a case of fish fins and tail i said in case of penguin it's a webbed feet how they are different from each other and why they are different from each other yes okay so when you will see here in case of fins of a fish that is helpful for uh, sustain in the water current and to swim freely in that because it is a underwater animal whereas a penguin if you will see it is having only flippers and that flippers and the webbed feet because it is a huge animal comparatively to your fish so it is having a webbed feet with a flipper to swim under water okay but remember this animal the specialized thing that is varying in between these two animals is the breathing organs or the respiratory organs that is in fish it is a gill and in penguins it's your lungs and now one more thing penguins as they have lungs they cannot breathe under the water under such condition they even can hold their breath almost around 15 to 20 minutes so when a penguin it is going for hunting a food in water under such conditions it is using its webbed feet and the small flippers for swimming purpose but its respiratory organs are lungs so it have to hold the breath it cannot breathe under water that's what it have a capacity of holding breath for around 15 to 20 minutes when it is searching for food okay children so now let us open our class, worksheet so in worksheet the first one if you will see the first question that was asked tick the aquatic animal so here some of the animals are given to you and now they are asking to tick the aquatic animal so aquatic animals are your whales octopus and duck is also seen in the water yes so tick these three things okay so now the second question if you will see children complete the table so first of all identify the animal that is present here this is your fish okay so now after identifying the animal now they are writing asking to write two special features so what are the organs used for uh, movement purpose here yes that is your fins and tail so these two organs are used for movement purpose and the second one that is gills sometimes you of you people in the class you even said scales very good you you can write either gills or scales if you are writing gills write here the work the function of the gills is breathing whereas in case of scales if you are writing the function of the scales is protecting from injuries protecting from injuries okay so now let us move to the third question in the third question we are having that write one feature of dolphin that is different from that of fish and how does it help so the ah very good in class you said that madam fish case fin dolphin's case flipper that helps to swim very fastly in water that is one thing some of you even said that madam dolphins have lungs for breathing purpose whereas a fish have gills for breathing purpose so either you can write this or write this this is the apt answer 
डॉल्फिन्स आर हैविंग लंग्स एंड गेल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन फिशेस फॉर ब्रीथिंग पर्पस ओके चिल्ड्रन सो आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द वर्कशीट नाउ लेट एस सी द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चंस दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक ओके चिल्ड्रन सो हियर इफ यू विल सी राइट टू वेज इन विच द एडाप्टेशन इन वेल्स आर सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ फिश so the first important adaptations that are similar in whales and fishes that is a streamlined body okay this is the most important feature that we will see in whales and fishes and the second important feature that is fins okay so now the second question if you will see second question draw a fish and label three special features this you have to draw on the white paper side so for the activity you might have completed already this one and the third one that is write one way in which each feature help the fish to adapt so you have to write everything fins and tails help for movement purpose gills help for breathing purpose fins and tails are helpful for movement purpose gills helpful for breathing purpose whereas the scales are helpful for protecting the animal from injuries so now they are asking one more question to you name a bird that can swim and write one feature that helps the bird to swim so you can write here duck or penguin yes so here you can write here duck oh no struck okay duck or a penguin okay so how that feature helps it helps the feature of this duck and uh, penguin that is a webbed feet so this webbed feet helps for swimming purpose okay so complete the given homework this is the today's homework which you are going to read and write okay complete the given homework and send me pics children